Now today, Tanzania commemorated 54 years of independence with a different newly elected president, John Magufuli, dressed casually and wearing a hat and gloves, joined hundreds of Tanzanians in sweeping streets and picking up rubbish in the main city, Dar es Salaam. This was after Magufuli, now referred to as a bulldozer, cancelled the usually lavish Independence Day celebrations and ordered Tanzanians to clean up their neighborhoods. Take a look. A not so common sight on a day like this. Tanzania's Independence Day. And, well, not a very common picture for a sitting head of state. But this is the perfect actualization of the Hapakazi True slogan. And no one understands this better than him, President John Pombe Magufuli, who cancelled the Independence Day celebrations and in its place fixed a national cleanup exercise across this country, which gained its independence 54 years ago. And as Magufuli rolled up his sleeves and joined residents of Dar es Salaam at collecting rubbish off the streets, Across the country, the message of Hapakazi True resonated just as perfectly as Tanzanians followed suit in declaring war or should we say independence against that and street leader. <laughs> Magufuli, who clinched the presidency last month in a hotly contested poll, has in recent past introduced a raft of austerity measures to cut down on public cost and cracked down on corruption in government to cut down on wastage. The cancellation of the Independence Day celebrations came as a shocker to many Tanzanians and the world at large as the country has always commemorated this day since 1961 when the then Tanganyika won independence from Britain. Magufuli said the cleanup exercise is aimed at keeping the cities, homes and workplaces clean, safe and healthy. Kila mtanzania ni maona mejitahidi ya mefanya kazi na mazingira mpaka saivi ya naonekana ni mazuri. Mana usafi ndo muhimu na afia zetu. Alafu kitu kingine ni kwa na shauri vifavya kufanyia usafi kama vitu napata shida wa kufanyia usafi grops ya mna. Tanzania is struggling with a major cholera outbreak with the health officials saying nearly 10,000 people have already been infected and 150 killed. And residents here say this cleanup exercise is a relief. Even retired President Jakaya Kikwete praised the cleanup exercise, adding that he is pleased with his successor's vigor, barely a few days in office. Since Magufuli took office, some officials have been jailed for lateness. The head of tax authority has been suspended, and the use of public funds to pay for Christmas and New Year greetings cards banned. Muremi Mwangi, KTN News, Nairobi.